हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय शिल्प पराग जम्बुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन फ्लाइट्स अल्गोरिथम फ्लाइट्स अल्गोरिथम इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज फ्लाइट वर्चुअल अल्गोरिथम इट इज ग्राफ अल्गोरिथम एंड इट इज यूज्ड टू फाइंड आउट ऑल पेयर शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ दैट मींस वी फाइंड आउट शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ बिटवीन एनी टू वर्टाइसेस दैट इज फ्रॉम ऑल वर्टाइसेस टू ऑल वर्टाइसेस दैट्स व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज ऑल पेयर शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ अल्गोरिथम In last video, we have seen serial implementation of the algorithm. In this video, we will see parallel implementation or parallel formulation of this flight algorithm. So here in this video, we will see how this algorithm can be implemented parallelly. So see, when we are implementing it serially, that means only one process is working over there, and that one process. is finding all the matrices that is a0 a1 a2 a3 like in this case instead of one process there will be multiple processes now see technique that we use for the parallel formulation is called as 2d block mapping 2d block mapping so we'll see what do you mean by 2d block mapping now see so from the graph we find out matrix right so at each row there are the source vertices and at the column we take destination vertices so that's why it becomes square matrix so suppose there are n number of vertices in the graph so that matrix size is n square the right? n by n matrix that's why total number of elements in that matrix is n square and suppose instead of one process now we are using more number of processes so suppose we are using p processes so p can be equal to the number of elements in matrix or p can be smaller than number of elements or number of uh, uh, values in the matrix now see here we will see so see from this graph we are finding this matrix right so when it is done by single process so all these values here all these values are calculated by the single process right but when it is done parallelly so what we are doing we give these values to the different processes for example see uh, so total number of elements are n square okay n square so n means number of vertices in this graph so see suppose you are taking p processes so uh, p is equal to n square if you take so this value will give to the one process this value will give to the another process this value will give to the another process this value will to the another process it will, uh, it will be given to another process this will be given to another process so suppose if we take p is equal to n square that is number of processes is equal to total number in this matrix okay so total number of elements in this matrix are n square so if you take number of processes equal to number of values in this matrix so every value in this matrix will be given to the some process one process so see from this uh, now to, see, to calculate a1 again we perform this operations right so at that time one process will find out this value another process will find out this value third process will find out this value fourth process will find out this value next process will find out this value so all this comp computation is done by the separate process but when we are taking number of processes equal to the total number of values in this matrix but suppose total number of processes is smaller than total number of elements in this matrix that is p smaller than n square p is smaller than n square so uh, in that situation how we will do it so see see if p is equal to n square then we are giving one value to one process right if p is equal to n square so we'll give one value to one process but if p is smaller than n square so in that time each process will get a block block of value so for example see if we take p is equal to 4 only so at that time uh, one process will work on these values uh, second process will work on this value third process will work on this value and fourth process will work on this value when p is smaller than n square so process will get more value so see suppose you are taking p is equal to 4 so in that situation one process will find out 
this value this four values then another process will find out another four values likewise okay so when p is smaller than n square so every process will get n square by p elements every process will get n square by p element so see every process will get n square by p element p is the number of processes and n square that is the total number of elements are value in that matrix and whatever the block that is allocated to each process the size of that block will be this this into this so see n by root p into n by root p so if you multiply this so we will get this value n square by p so this is the block is given or it is allocated to each process and that's why we are calling it 2d block mapping so see 2d means two dimensional because uh, there are rows and columns that's why 2d and block because every process we are allocating block so if p is equal to n square so block size will be one only but when p smaller than n square so in, at that time that block will have size this this into this this many rows this many column so total elements in this block will be n square by p now so we will talk about complexity but so serial complexity is theta of n cube now see when it is done parallelly so see instead of single process now we have p number of processes instead of single process now there is a p number of processes so uh, this complexity will get divided by p because this computation is now it is done by the p processes so computation it will get divided by p that's why theta of n cube by p but that is the for the computation now see when we are doing it parallelly there is some communication between the processes and because of that we require some extra cost that is for the communication and that extra communication cost is added into here so this is parallel execution time that we are representing by the tp so this cost is for computation and this cost is for the communication now what kind of communication we require so see in this case uh, look at this when so see here we are taken one as an intermediate row right so here k is equal to 1 so when we are taking k is equal to 1 or 1 as an intermediate node so here look at this this is a this row this row right this value is from this row this value again is from this row this value is from this row right so here you can check all these values form this row when we are taken one as an intermediate node or value so we are taking values from this row and here if you check see one as a column column number so k is equal to one so, so see here k is equal to one right so k is equal to one here so k is equal to one right so here come uh, check this so here we are considering this column this column so see when we are taken k is equal to 1 k as an intermediate node so we use this value means that row value and this column value now see when we calculate a2 so at that time we use these values and these values when we are calculating values for a3 at that time we use this row and this column and when we calculate values for a4 so at that time we use this fourth row and fourth column so this value we use now see uh, we are dividing these values among the processes right so suppose see whenever so one process will have this value few processes okay have this value so whatever the process will have that value so suppose see, this is the row right so whatever the process have this value that process will broadcast these values to the all the other processes so see uh, whatever the process has this value so it will broadcast it to all the other processes 
what are the process which has this value it will broadcast to this processes what are the process uh, which has this value it will broadcast to this process now see we are talking about this row okay so what are the process have these values they will broadcast to the processes in that column right now see here k is equal to 1 so again we have, uh, all the processes need these values also right so what are the processes those are having these values so these processes will broadcast this value to the these processes okay along the rows so see here we have taken k is equal to 1 so here for competition for computing all these values we require this row and this column right so what are the processes which has this value they will broadcast with the other processes so see if you consider this rows so processes having this value they will broadcast it to the processes in that column okay so what are the process have this value it will broadcast to this what are the process have that this value it will broadcast it to the this processes likewise and if you consider for this column so what are the processes have these values they will broadcast these values to the processes in that row so what are the process have this value it will broadcast to the this processes what are the process have this value it will broadcast to the this processes that is the communication among the processes so because of this extra communication cost is added in total parallel execution time so this is the computation okay it is divided by p serial time is divided by p but as you are doing it parallelly some extra cost that is for communication is added here and because of that this tp is get increased so total tp there is a parallel execution time is equal to computation time plus this communication time so in this way slides algorithm is implemented parallelly and the technique that we call 2d block mapping so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you